To all who come to this happy place, welcome. Welcome to our Disney Parks videos, where we aim to give you tips and how-to guides on what to do before, during, and after your trip to the Disney Parks. Guiding you from booking your holiday to prepping for it, and also giving you top tips on how to ride your favorite rides and snack on your favorite tasty treats. Follow along with our adventure every month by clicking that subscribe button and the notification bell. This month is all about Memory Maker, downloading PhotoPath pictures, and buying photo gifts. So let's take a look at what Disney Photo Pass and Memory Maker is first of all. Then I'll show you how to download your photos on the app and on computer. Then finally show you how to purchase photo gifts and prints with how much it costs to ship them to the UK too. But first up, let's talk about Photo Pass. You will see lots of cast members around in strategic areas with cameras and now they wear nice bright green shirts which kind of look like the Asda uniform green shirts which I wore once upon a time when I worked in retail but anyways some of them will wear the older white shirts in Magic Kingdom and in Galaxy's Edge they will be wearing Batuian outfits which look great. Keep an eye out for any of these and please be courteous to them and ask them about their day too. These photographers are everywhere in the parks and they are there to capture your special moments so you don't have to do lots of selfies or set up a camera. Now it does not cost a thing to have your photos taken and you can see them on the My Disney Experience app too. But if you haven't bought the photo or have Memory Maker then it will have a watermark over it. I'll show you in a little bit how to view them on the app, but to purchase individual photos, you're looking at around about $19 per image, which is quite expensive. But this is where the beauty of Memory Maker comes into it. Memory Maker allows you to have every photo pass photo, magic photo, ride photo, ride video, and experience videos. Memory Maker does cost $199, but if you're going to have more than 10 photos taken, then it is totally worth it in my opinion, and you will have far more than 10 photos, trust me. But also there are deals on now and then. Currently, if you purchase Genie Plus, you will get Memory Maker for that day, or sometimes you will have deals when booking your hotel or even your park tickets. We had Memory Maker included in our park tickets from Attraction Tickets for free. So that saved us a lot of money and have loads of memories because of it. Another great thing with Memory Maker is that you only need one of you to have it in your party. And you can have all the photos once they are downloaded. So how does PhotoPass and Memory Maker work? You literally just walk up to a PhotoPass photographer, greet them nicely and ask for some photos. They will then scan your magic band or ticket and then take some shots. They will take as many as you like too, but just be mindful of other people in the queue behind you. Some photographers will notice your badges too, if it's your birthday, engagement, got married, etc. And will ask you to do different shots to the generic ones. When on rides, you can either scan a QR code with your phone, providing your Bluetooth is on, and it will link to your ride photo to your My Disney Experience account. Or it will automatically do it for magic bands. Sometimes it may include other people's photos, but it will ask you to review them so you can decline them. Finally, some rides with screens to show you the photos will have magic band points where you can scan your band or ticket when your image appears on the screen. If you are missing any images, just contact customer services with a rough time and date you were on the ride and they will sort it out for you. Photo pass pictures and videos do not last forever though. You have 45 days from when the photo was taken to download them. So I recommend downloading them when you're home and caught up on rest. If you have any questions about Memory Maker or Photo Pass, please do click that subscribe button and the notification bell and pop a comment down below and we'll help out how we can. I'm going to show you now how to download them on the app, but also a quicker way to download them on the computer. Then we'll take a look at how to purchase prints and photo gifts as well as the shipping costs to the UK. So hey guys, uh, so we're going to have a little look now at the app and how to download your photos on the app. So um, 
some keen-eyed viewers will know that um, this has got a lot less in the background. Uh, we are in the process of changing a uh, studio room, so some of these things have been moved to the new studio, and hopefully from next week we're going to start filming in there. But um, it's <laughs> quite a bit less here at the moment. But anyways, let's have a look. So I've got the um, the screen recording on now for this, and we just need to go on. You got your main page there and then on the bottom right you've got those three little lines you click on that and then you go to photos and then on photos they're all there look so all my photos are here now the bit of a difference with this and on the computer we're going to go through the computer ones in a moment is you can only download these one at a time so you click on your photo you go to save and you got medium or large high quality i always go for the highest quality on there so you click on ok and it downloads it and it will give you a little notification the top look there it's got that little mickey circle there that is down um there so you can also share it as well um and that just does it exactly the same just instead of downloads it to your phone it uploads it straight to instagram or facebook or twitter whatever you want to upload it to you also got underneath there by photo gifts now that will take you to easyprints.com now i'm going to talk about that um, a little bit more on the computer so if we just come out of that and come out again and yeah so everything is on here you can filter it as well to different uh, locations you can also uh, filter it for view all so family and friends or only yours um, you can go newest first oldest the first like I said the different parks so that's pretty cool really you can filter them there as well um, and it's got all your little videos and things as well on there um, you can also um, make little video memories of your days as well which I think is really cute um, I'm just trying to find it now and there it is so view video memory so you can click on view video memory and then it will load up this little page now this is the first time i'm doing it as well so this is quite cool uh, that we're gonna be doing things together so here we go um it's got a bit of a a different one so you can edit it or you can just view it so this is just putting together a little collection um we're not even in that photo but there <laughs> and the pirates one uh we're too far in the back uh, for that um but we are in those guardian ones there. So this is really cool. I think that it puts together this little one. But you can you can select which ones you want. Uh, there, that was Gemma for her birthday, and um, yeah, it's quite a long video as well, isn't it? Yeah. So there's me, my hat covering Gemma's face um, after we just come from a space two twenty meal, which was really nice. And then there's us in front row of um, Everest and uh, the Tree of Life. And Hollywood Studios then. Yeah, I've always got that camera in my hand. I've, I'm cut off a little bit on the Tower of Terror one. Um, we've seen that one photo before. Oh, look at the um, Phantasmic in the bottom right. That's not even Hollywood Studios. That's Animal Kingdom. So, And you can render and download it there then. But if we click over to edit. So you've got scene one. I think scene one is going to have to change. Um... Um, on there, but I'll have a little potch with that and you can just uh, You literally can just uh, delete that photo and then press it and then add another one there So Tron's got to come on you, but I am gonna make one of those um, Because you got to you just got to now you do only have a few days to do all your downloading and things like that you got 45 days days so make sure to do that not long after you get back from your holiday uh, I've now downloaded all, them all onto my phone and in a minute now when we go on the website we'll be downloading them all onto my PC as well so I've got them all there but let's go have a look at the PC because it's gonna be an easier way to download them all um, it's much easier and an easier way of buying uh, those little gifts as well as well as buying prints directly from Disney photo pass so let's go have a look at that right so we are gonna go and look at a 
different method and an easier method now to download all your photos and also how to uh, to buy them as well uh, there's there's lots and lots of different ways to buy them um, and different different products as well really so we're gonna have a look at those and I'll take you through the prices as well for these uh, because it can be quite expensive depending on what you want um, especially coming from the UK so we're gonna go into disneyworld.com and because we're back in the UK and not using a VPN it's gonna go to .co.uk here then we need to sign in first of all so let's just do that so I'm usually signed in already but I thought I'd just Take you step by step so you're signed in uh, so you are all there then you go to my disney experience and then you come down to my photos now when you come onto this you got um, photos from your ride are here we've got pictures from your pirates caribbean and more but i need, um, need help picking out so like it does on the app so if you select on these it'll go to another page and um you select on them and none of these are actually um us anyway <laughs> so and uh, that's why we haven't selected them it's a little bit odd that you can select other people's photos uh, but oh this is a good one um you can on the website you can decline them all uh, which is great you can't do that on the app or not what i can see so decline all photos uh so you sit in tight uh, decline those so they are all done there then and here we go so we got all of our photos um, here you've also got keep your memories at hand um, um, on an archive USB so uh, preserve and watermark Disney photo images on a USB drive that's easy to store and share so that's pretty cool that you can buy a um, a little uh, USB to put everything on but because we're on computer then we're going to do um, it all on here so you got my photos and include family and friends photos so if anybody else is scanned in with their magic bands um, and they're linked to your party they'll be on there but everything is linked to mine I've already double checked and everything is here so um, you've got all the different photos here um, all going down in the little videos and things and the best thing about on here on the computer you can literally just click on that tick and then it's got this little area on the top saying select all visible media so all visible media means the ones that um, that is been approved by you not those other ones that I just showed you about uh, declining so that's literally every single one so you're gonna click on download on that and it says your download has begun so that's gonna come down now it's making it a zip file you can't quite see that um, because there's a little pop-up window so it's made it a zip file and it's downloading every single photo now and video um that i've got on my account yeah that's that's fine it uh, did actually do it because i got a pop-up blocker on you but it did uh, download everything anyway so there we go so that's all those or you can go in individually and then download them but uh, with that little button there you can just download that press that and it pops up down the bottom there look and um, that it's been downloaded as a JPEG so just clear that off but the best thing as well is you can order prints directly from Disney um, so here they are all there so we're gonna go down and I'm going to oh I keep on doing the wrong button so we need to go back into my photos um, you don't need to click the back button there you just need to go um, back on um, on here so I am going to um, do this lovely photo here of me and Gem I do really like this photo this was for Gemma's birthday um, so we're gonna go ahead and get um, a set of two um, of those yeah why not uh, so they are the, sm the ordinary size prints so actually no let's go for a bigger so we'll go for a single uh, size print let's go for a big one why not uh, so they are 595 for um, a big one of those uh, so I'm gonna go with matte so it won't be so shiny uh, but I might get um, a set of two smaller ones for glossy ones there um, I'm gonna add those um, to my bag um, and then and once I've done that then it's on the right hand corner it's got back to gallery so that's what you need to do instead of going all the way back and I do want to have um, see so these pictures here are people I don't know who they are um, and they've come onto our Tron uh, ones here 
um, and I am going to um, get this picture here because I do like this picture I'm not gonna get a, um, a massive one I just want to get a smaller one so I'll get um, the set of two four by um, six prints there so add that to my basket too and then uh, 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 do, 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 do. Right, okay, so that is those. So we're just going to do these prints first. Um, and there's probably going to be other ones that we want to get printed, but we might go um, to a company in the UK to, to print them. But I just wanted to show you um, the different things for this. Uh, so my subtotal is 985. There's Memory Maker there, so $199. At the moment, like I said earlier, um, it is um, included in a lot of uh, different prices, like it's in included with Genie Plus at the moment. It's included with um, tickets from AttractionTickets.com. So it is really, I even I think even if you don't have it, have one of your party buy it because it doesn't have to be uh, that all of you have to have Memory Maker. As long as one person's got it, and remember that one person, so they can scan their Magic Band. To link all their photos there or, or the ticket whatever you you have um, I highly recommend it because we have got hundreds of photos from Dis uh, from photo pass photographers and they're beautiful uh, just like you've seen on those um, lantern ones there then and my Jedi ones they are absolutely fantastic so I highly recommend it and be really nice to the photo pass photographers they do get you to do um, the same pose <laughs> quite often but they 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 are amazing they, they're just great and I'm, I'm very thankful for them being there to capture some of our moments um so yeah so we're gonna go with checkout on here now so because you're signed in it's already got all your information there and the delivery charge is 4.95 i've tried adding loads of photos bigger photos and everything on you and it stayed the same fee of 4.95 for prints um so they are just photographs that you're getting printed so i don't think it's too bad of a price if you want to get them professionally printed and things like that i wish they did give it um the option of having them uh with uh disney world um on top of them and things like that but that is another thing that we're going to come to in a moment so we're just going to finish off paying for this so you just scroll down then to um, enter your payment details, um, enter your payment details there, then scroll back down and click I have read and agreed uh, to the terms and conditions and then click purchase. So I'm going to fill in all these details and then we'll go to the next screen. Okay, so there we go. There's your uh, order summary then. So you got your order confirmation um, and it's double checks your address what you've ordered and yeah everything is there so that should be with me um, by in a, in about um, a week or two uh, on that one because it is being shipped internationally so that is what you need to do for uh, uh, just to get the prints and everything and you can even print that out in the top corner there. So that is how you just order prints But what if you want something different? What if you want to get a magnet a canvas even a blanket or Christmas ornament? What you need to do is you need to go back to uh, the photo pass area so you go back to photo pass uh, with your my photos and you just select any one of your photos and then click on this easy prints uh, one here so you click on that and it'll say you are leaving disneyworld.com that is fine so you click on that because this is actually um, a uh, recommended look disney for the pass um, area here so what i've done here is um, i'm going to go through these different ones as we scroll down uh, we do have um Let's have a look at them. So shop top products. They got prints. You got wood prints, mugs, blankets, ornaments, and fine art HD canvases. So we're gonna go into each of these now um, and have a little look at them. So, but let's have a look at metal prints um, first of all, because uh, they got the prints and then they got lots of different ones. So these are metal prints. So they cost um, thirty dollars. Um, Per, uh, per print but they do come with these really cool little um, engravings on them as well so you can have multiple photos or just one photo and they are metal so and so you've got a re really cool um, Galaxy's Edge one there look and a 2023 uh, there's lots of lots of different um, 
types of ones on here and they are really cool. $30, it's not overly expensive, but it is a little bit um, expensive if you just want in um, one, one picture because I'll show you uh, why that is in a moment. Uh, but let's have a look at the magnets next and these are really cool because you've got these little ears on the top and it's got uh, the wording on them as well uh, so you, I thought you can just have a plain one and these are $15 so not too bad of a price really for your own custom magnets um, here and there's lots and lots of different ones and they're all $15 here um, so they, that's pretty cool um, and then you got wood prints so just like the metal prints they just print these onto wood which is awesome but these are expensive look these are $60 so yeah quite pricey for these but you do have some again some really nice designs um, there but I thought this was really cool as well they got blankets you can get a blanket so a printed blanket um, for these but these are seventy three ninety five um, or or sixty dollars so between sixty and seventy five dollars really which is quite expensive for a blanket but again look you got a really cool uh, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge one there and um, what else have we got uh, or oh, we you can get mugs as well let me just put down um, these mugs here um, and as you just saw I was making a Star Wars Galaxy's Edge mug so these range from $17 up to $23 and um, depending on which one you want to get Oh, there's one for $16 there as well so uh, slightly cheaper ones but they look really cool and if we go back to that one I put that in there and that looks really nice that would be really nice on a mug um, and then you got canvas prints then and they are $70 um, for these up to $80 as well um, finally we got these ornaments these Christmas ornaments and they do look really nice really cool so um, I do believe they're all $17 I didn't oh no there's a slightly more expensive one there and I, I think these ones are better because you you can you got these little icons here and you got 2023 or um, you can get whatever year you go on there and then on the back then you have the um, uh, your your photo on there so you've got this design you've got this Mickey um, snowflake design and also you can get a Mickey star design and that is on any one of these uh, you can just uh, select it and then do it so um, let's just have a quick little look into these so I'm gonna click on this one and um, you choose which one so the filigree one is this we got a Mickey Sto uh, snowflake or Mickey star so I'll click on Mickey snowflake it doesn't change that one but if you change that it does change it um, it doesn't change it there but when you're going to get started I just want to show you uh, some really cool things, uh, some features on your see. So that's the the Mickey Snowflake there. Now the really cool thing is, is it um, puts them into folders of where you got your photos from. Um, it can take a little bit of a <laughs> thing. So it's like you've got Epcot and you've also got um, uh, other areas and things. So you got Cinderella's Castle, you got Main Street train station, Fantasyland, Epcot entrance, and then so there's lots of different future world. Uh, so you just click on them and all your photos um, then from those areas are there so I thought that was a really nice touch and things but if we go back to um, my mug one because I selected the galaxy's edge one um, and if we go back it only has look the Star Wars -y ones here uh, which is really cool I thought I thought that's a really nice touch it's even got star to us look but everything Star Wars um, you can't have any other photos well, you can if you go into my uploads but I just thought that was really nice a uh, nice little touch uh, for that um, I did really want to get this mug but I'm not getting this mug and I'm gonna show you in a moment why right then and this is why we are not gonna be buying any of these so the mug was seventeen dollars. You don't buy, uh, you don't pay any tax on that. It's just seventeen dollars. But just look at that shipping. So standard shipping is forty six sixty six for this mug, and it will arrive in five six weeks, something like that. That is extortionate um, for that, really. Um, and if, if you look at it, it goes right up to $150.48 uh, then as well. So people might think, oh, if you add more to it, is that going to be better? 
not really know because I've added then quite a few different ones. I've added three different ones there, look, and it is actually 93.34 up to $531.84. So is it standard at $46.66? No. So if you go into um, just um, an ornament one, and that is $21.98 for a flat not that heavy um, ornament. Um, what about a magnet? Let's have a look at the magnet. So that was a really nice, I really like that magnet. $15, but then $20 for shipping. Now, if you all stack them up, then it's like if you could have 10 magnets for $20, then great, but it wouldn't. Um, it all adds up um, in the end. So that is a bit of an expensive thing there. So if you are planning on buying some of these merch things, then just be mindful that shipping to the UK will be very expensive. Um, the Another way I think you could possibly do it is if you are a little bit good with Photoshop, then you could just add in the Walt Disney World logo on, onto one of your photos and send it to a UK-based uh, printing company um, sometimes they might not allow it because it's copyrighted um, things on there but at least then you could just send the picture to them and they'd be able to do that for you so that is a bit gutting to me to be honest it's like I, I did want to have that mug and I wanted this magnet but it's a bit too expensive, really. I can't justify the cost for that. I was happy to spend that uh, 15 odd dollars uh, for the, the photo prints um, because I think that it is worth just getting one of those and professionally done from Disney as well. Uh, so, so you can buy them when you're there. Um, they, you per totally can get them whilst you're out there um because they can print them there and then for you but i just think it's a little bit easier yes it's six dollars um to ship it to us but hey ho um that you can order as many as you want and that uh that price won't go up there unlike um with the easy prints stuff so there we go guys that is all of the photo pass and memory maker and everything there Really hope you enjoyed this video and um, from Tuesday next week we will be starting our vlogs. Um, so every Tuesday and Friday will be a brand new vlog and it will probably be about uh, 7 or 8 weeks worth of 2 vlogs every week on top of all of our other uh, videos. So make sure to click that subscribe button and the notification bell. But that is it for this video. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and check out these videos. But until next time.